2015 Focus 2.0. We have a P1450. Uh, I'll give you details in the description. Let's just go directly to the point. EVAP purge solenoids right here. I'm doing a test of flow, meaning that it should, when I require zero duty cycle from this, it should stay off, meaning that there's no airflow going through it. But when I go to 100, it should let me go full full throttle out. So, now that my point, I'm gonna go up. You can hear it clicking. I think I have it connected, obviously. So I'm playing around here with the solenoid. And the more I want, and if I want 100%, that's full flow. Full flow. Right now, if I blow through here, you should hear it over here. Full flow. Now, if I go to zero, that means no flow. Let's go over here. I'm going to blow through it again. A lot less. I'll go again to up to 100 so we can hear the difference. Full open. That's me blowing as best as I can. I'm going to go all the way down to zero. Zero. I'm restricted, but it's still flowing through. That means that the internal O ring, where it's supposed to be uh, here sealing it, here is broken. Yeah, basically, this is the issue with this car. Uh, as for the sensor itself, it works fine. No issues for the sensor itself, but there is an internal leak, and the leak is right here. So, this is it for this video. All right, my people, part two. Uh, the owner opted for me to repair it on the spot. Uh, upon testing a diagnosis of the new one, immediately after I blew in inside the new one, obviously, through this hose, and looked for leaks on the, on the other side, I mean, I, I could have popped my brain out, and that thing would not blow air through. So, 100%, nice, easy, quick test out for this. Just take it out, blow air through one side. It should not come out the other. If it comes out the other, out, out of the car, you know, with no connection on it, it should be normally closed. Uh, you should have no air coming out of the other side. So, yeah, 100%, this was a faulty part. Hopefully, the, net, the rest of the EVAP system will not have any more leaks. Because probably this was this was the main leak it had, and the only leak it had, hopefully. So yeah, uh, diagnosis done, replaced. Just gonna turn it on for half an hour and hope for the best. But at least we started with a good start. The solenoid was bad. Now this is my ProDemand website where I take all my information for my cars and I deal with them, diagnose them to the T. And this is just showing a, the purge valve being the most commonly replaced item for this code.